Hey, Lika, what are you doing over there? Oh, hey, I'm just watching erosion happen. Erosion? What's that? Erosion is a natural process where a substance gets eroded away by wind or water and gets transported somewhere else. It's really cool. It's actually how places like the Grand Canyon were formed. While erosion can create beautiful landscapes and do amazing things, it can also be really threatening. What's so bad about erosion? Well, soil is the backbone of our society. Soil makes all of the materials and all of the food that we eat, and so having a healthy soil means healthy lives for the rest of us. And according to the NRCS, soil is being depleted from erosion and other processes 18 times faster than can be replenished. When we farm too intensely, or let our livestock overgraze, or even if we're taking native plants off the landscape through deforestation, that leaves our soils open and vulnerable to wind and water erosion. And that happened famously in the Dust Bowl, which is why conservation districts like us were formed. The Dust Bowl? Tell me more about that. Oh, well I guess it's time for a history lesson. When settlers came to America, they were met with huge, fertile, great plains. They harvested abundant crops for many years, but due to their overgrazing and plowing, they depleted soil nutrients and destroyed soil structure. Then came a long drought and major topsoil loss due to wind erosion. There was nothing to hold the soil down, so the topsoil blew into the air and surrounded entire states. People wore masks, and some even died from dust pneumonia. Many people moved to other states as their farms and livelihoods dried up. In March 1935, Hugh Hammond Bennett, now known as the father of soil conservation, had an idea and took his case to lawmakers on Capitol Hill, and the dust storms followed him. No longer in doubt, the 74th Congress passed the Soil Conservation Act signed by President Roosevelt on April 27, 1935. We learned back then, almost a hundred years ago, that soil conservation is key to life on Earth. It's also important in the fight against climate change because soils hold three times as much carbon as we find in the atmosphere and four times as much as we find in plants and animals around us. It also absorbs 25% of fossil fuel emissions each year. The soil is amazing. We love it. We can do lots of things to help it too, like composting, planting native plants, and using regenerative agricultural practices. Thanks for learning about soil with me today. And if you want to learn more, contact your local conservation district. Bye.